of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. El Señor está con ustedes. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Let us begin to, to celebrate this Eucharist, remembering that uh, it is God who always asking us to come to Him. And the very fact of being here in the church is uh, because God has called us to be here and we answer that call. God wants us to bless us. God, God wants us to give us what we need in our lives to continue striving, doing God's will. Preparémonos a celebrar esta Eucaristía con mucha gratitud a Dios porque pues, nos ha regalado la fe y los medios para poder estar aquí en esta Eucaristía. En cada Eucaristía somos bendecidos por Dios. 
vamos a prepararnos a recibir la bendición de Dios y nos preparamos haciendo un acto de contrición y pidiendo a Dios perdón por nuestros pecados so, let us ask God for forgiveness and strength Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Conserva, Señor, a tu familia en el camino del bien que tú le has señalado y ayúdala en sus necesidades temporales para que pueda buscar los bienes eternos. Por nuestro Señor Jesucristo, tu Hijo, que vive y reina contigo en la unidad del Espíritu Santo y es Dios por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. del libro del profeta Jeremías. En aquellos días, los enemigos del profeta se dijeron entre sí, vengan y tendamos un lazo a Jeremías, porque no le va a faltar doctrina al sacerdote, consejo al sabio, ni inspiración al profeta. Vengan, ataquémoslo de palabra y no hagamos caso de sus oráculos. Jeremías le dijo entonces a Dios, Señor, atiéndeme, oye lo que dicen mis adversarios, ¿acaso se paga con bien con mal? Porque ellos han cavado una fosa para mí. Recuerda cómo he insistido ante ti, intercediendo en tu favor, para apartar de ellos tu cólera. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. refuge into your hands I commend my spirit you will redeem me O Lord O faithful God oigo las burlas de la gente y todo me da miedo se conjuran contra mí y tratan de quitarme la vida my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and from my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness.
soy la luz del mundo, dice el Señor. El que me sigue tendrá la luz de la vida. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them in the, on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem. And the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not, you do not know what you are what you're asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice you will indeed drink. But to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by, by my Father. When they then heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord, lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt, but it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. Striving to do God's will, making our best to do God's will equals we're going to be fine. No problems, no difficult situations. You know, sometimes we, we complain to God about that, right? Sometimes, God, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to, to obey you, to, to do your will. And why I'm suffering this? Or why is this happening to my family? If we have, we have a strive to do God's will. Because we have in mind this uh, equation, right? Being good, life is going to be good. You know, being bad, life is going to be bad. And that is not uh, the fact. In the book of the prophet Jeremiah today, you know, Jeremiah, you, we probably you know the story, he was chosen by God when he was very little. And, and even when God chose him, he told him, I chose you even before you were in the womb of your mom. You, you were in my, in my thoughts to be born and to be a prophet. You know, and uh, well, Jeremiah said, you know, Lord, I'm, I'm very little. I, I have no wisdom. I, I don't know how to speak. You know, how can I go to preach? Well, you, you will go and preach to the kings, to the priests, to the prophets. You are going to do that. Well, eventually he did it. He did it and, and he saw that uh, society by that time all kind, you know, all, all kind of levels, authorities and people, were not doing God's will, especially the powerful. 
They were oppressing the, the little ones. And, 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 and Jeremiah told them, if this, if, if this uh, continues, a powerful army will come and conquer you. And what, what, did they, what did he do? Decided to do with Jeremiah? Look, okay, he's prophesying, I mean, very bad things. Let us kill him. And they decided to kill him. They decided to kill him because he was prophesying not beautiful things. But that time, there were prophets, prophets of God, like Jeremiah, and prophets that make money by being prophets. Now it's like a, like a career. Being a prophet was like a career as well. So usually these prophets, as a, as a career, were always telling the, queen, the king and, and, and everybody, you know, we are very strong, let us continue doing this, and so forth. But Jeremiah, being a prophet of God, has said, you know, that is not really true. Just look at what is happening. Eventually, Babylon comes and conquers Israel. But uh, my point is right here. You know, Jeremiah said, look at God. I mean, they're trying to kill me. They are trying to destroy me because I'm bringing to them your word. Uh, even though these words are not a, a kind of uh, uh, easy ones, are in fact very difficult ones. And, and look at what is happening to me. But one thing that King Jeremiah teaches about this, he's saying this to God. He brings his situation in front of God. You know, so prayer is so important in order to better understand the will of God, especially when we are undergoing very difficult situations. Praying, praying to God. Sometimes we complain with other people. Sometimes we just keep it for ourselves. Sometimes we take it in a, in a sense like, a, okay, God, you are treating me this way. Okay, I will not go to mass anymore. I will not go to church anymore. Why, why should I go? If you are not answering my prayers. And sometimes we take, we take this, uh, uh, this attitude. And Jeremiah is telling us today, go to God. Difficult situations, go and share this with God. And listen to God. Listen to him. So Jeremiah, heed me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. Must go be repaid with evil, that they should they are fit to take my life. Remember that I stood before you and speak in their behalf to turn away your wrath from them. So he was doing the best for the, for the people, and in turn he received evil. Well, but the same thing happened to Jesus, right? The same thing happened to Jesus, giving his life for our well-being, and he ended dying on the cross. But he was faithful. He was faithful. You know, always been faithful. If we, if we undergo situations because we strive to do God's will, let us continue to do that. Let us continue to do that. Being faithful to God is the best thing that can happen to us. And even though it's sometimes, sometimes it's very difficult, but always, with, with, if God is with, with us, who can be against us? To whom shall we go, St. Peter say? To whom shall we go if only you have the words of eternal life? Porque las uh, lecturas de este día nos, pues nos dicen especialmente la primera lectura del profeta Jeremías. Profeta Jeremías que fue escogido por Dios desde que era muy jovencito a llevar la palabra de Dios y eventualmente va y predica a las grandes autoridades. Bueno, en este pasaje que leímos ahora lo quieren matar. Y lo quieren matar porque pues, lo que les dice a, no les gusta a los, a, al rey, a los profetas, al, a los sacerdotes de aquel tiempo. No les gusta y entonces lo quieren matar porque está eh, quitándole la, como la esperanza al pueblo. Pero le está diciendo la verdad. Si no se convierten, si siguen haciendo injusticias, si no tratan bien a la viuda, a los pobres, va a venir un ejército muy poderoso y va a terminar con ustedes o con nosotros. Eventualmente eso fue lo que pasó. Babilonia vino, se los llevó exiliados y duraron fuera de su país por 50 años del 87, 587 al 537 antes de Cristo. También Jeremías se mantuvo siempre fiel, acompañó al pueblo en el exilio, allí les estuvo hablando de la esperanza, miren esto nos está pasando, pero Dios es fiel, Dios es fiel y nos va a regresar a nuestro país. Y bueno, así pasó, regresaron nuevamente a Jerusalén, la encontraron toda destruida, pero la reconstruyeron. So as we continue this journey in, in the Lenten season, let us be faithful to God. Let not difficult situation discourages us. 
but let us continue striving to do God's will. At the end, God is faithful. If we stick with God, God will be with us, strengthening us, and guiding us towards our final goal, eternity. Amen. 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 Together, let us stand and present our needs to the Father who sees to our every need. For the church, may God use this season of Lent to foster in us a greater commitment to living as disciples of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Por el mundo que el Señor traiga personas compasivas dispuestas a asumir Puestos de liderazgo elegidos y designados, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, óyenos. For those oppressed by an envy in the world, may Christ bring about justice and, and sources of healing for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Por esta comunidad de adoración, que el Señor nos ayude a crecer en humildad, sirviendo a los demás en el nombre de Cristo. Roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, óyenos. For all who have died, may they live eternally in the light of heavenly glory. Let us pray, pray to the Lord. Lord, uh, hear our prayers. Por las intenciones de esta misa para el descanso de Felipe de Jesús García y Fray Fernando Torre Medina por su, por su salud. Roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, óyenos. Recibe, Padre misericordioso, estas peticiones que hemos mencionado. Recibe también aquellas que se quedan en nuestros corazones. Recibe las, Padre, por las manos de María y en el nombre de Cristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Amén. sea Señor Dios del Universo por este vino fruto de la vida y del trabajo del hombre que recibimos de tu generosidad y ahora te presentamos Él será para nosotros bebida de salvación bendito seas por siempre Señor recibe Señor nuestro corazón contigo y nuestro Espíritu mío que este sea nuestro sacrificio es agradable Dios Padre wash away my iniquity please me from my sins Que este sacrificio mío y de ustedes sea agradable a Dios Padre Todopoderoso. Que el Señor recibe en sus manos ese sacrificio, la alabanza y gloria de su nombre para nuestro bien de toda su santa iglesia. Mira, benigno Señor, las ofrendas que te presentamos y por este santo intercambio de dones rompe las cadenas de nuestros pecados. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that, freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks they have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Gustavo our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Luke, and all the saints who have led you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
Líbranos, Señor, de todos los males y concédenos la paz en nuestros días para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, concédele la paz y la unidad. Tú que vives reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. La paz del Señor esté siempre con ustedes. Y con su espíritu. Christ peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. With God of peace. Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos invitados a participar en la cena del Señor. Señor. Yo no soy digno de que entres en mi casa, pero una palabra tuya bastará para sanarme. espiritual. Creo que es un Dios que está real y verdaderamente en el cielo y en el santísimo sacramento del altar. Te amo sobre todas las cosas y deseo vivamente recibirte dentro de mi alma, pero no pudiendo hacerlo ahora sacramentalmente, ven al menos espiritualmente a mi corazón y como si ya te hubiese recibido, te abrazo y me uno del todo a ti. Señor, no permitas que jamás me aparte de ti.
Oremos. Que este sacramento que nos has dado, Señor, como prenda de inmortalidad, sea para nosotros una firme ayuda para alcanzar la salvación eterna. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Les recordamos que continuamos con las misiones hoy y mañana. We continue with the missions today and tomorrow, both in English and in Spanish. And today we're going to focus in on uh, Saint Luke and the Blessed Virgin Mary. Hoy nos vamos a enfocar en la Santísima Virgen María en, el, en los escritos de San Lucas. Este, es un tema muy interesante. Pero si tienen oportunidad, aquí nos vemos. La, la misa seis y media, empezamos como a las siete más o menos con los temas. Pretty much we begin at 7 p.m. with a with a talk, and uh, today we have a divine chaplet. Yeah, after mass, right after mass, we will we will pray in the uh, divine divine mercy chaplet. Yeah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bestow upon your servants, Lord, abundance of grace and protection. <laughs> Grant health of mind and body. Grant fullness of fraternal, fraternal charity and make them always devoted to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This celebration has ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be a protection against the weakness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits that prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We will seek the Savior here uh, for.